Hi, my name's Isaac Shutt. I'm a Wills, Trusts, and Probate Lawyer headquartered in Richardson, Texas. Today we're going to talk about those special provisions that parents ought to have in their wills when they have minor children. So, a lot of us understand that when you die, your will gives away your assets to your beneficiaries um, after your death. And that seems really common sense, but guess what, parents? If you have minor children, your will does more than that. Okay, so here are a couple of things that, uh, extra things that your will does if you have minor children. Now, the first thing it does is establish a trust. See, under Texas law and probably most states' laws, you can't give property directly to a minor. That's because they're incapacitated by way of being a minor. So your way of getting, your way of getting around this is by having a trust set up in your will. So this says when you die, all of the assets go into a trust which would be managed by a trustee for the benefit of your children. So for example, uh, if you have a 15 year old upon your death, that 15 year old would not get his inheritance outright. Instead, it would be in a trust account and that trustee would be able to use money for the benefit of that uh, person until they reach a certain predefined age. Now, obviously the legal minimum age would be age 18, but a lot of our clients say, well, I remember what I was like when I was age 18 and I sure wouldn't want all of my assets going to a person like me upon age 18. Why don't we make that trust termination age more like age 25? So anyway, the first thing, if you have a minor child that your will does is set up a trust so that we can protect those assets until they're old enough to legally and responsibly receive their inheritance. Now there's another and probably more important thing that a will does if you have a minor. It lists who would be your guardian, uh, the guardian for your children. Now this is a big deal and historically these provisions have gone in wills uh, for Texans. So while you may think of it as somewhat of a big deal who gets your assets upon your death, most parents think of it as an extremely big deal who's actually gonna get the children when they die. So your will will actually say who you would want to be the guardian in the event of your death while you have a minor child. Without that, we love them, but a county court investigator would have to pick guardians for your children. They may do a great job, they may do a terrible job, but it's probably not who you would have wanted. So by uh, designating somebody in advance for sort of who you would want to serve as guardian for your child, at least that person you've designated would have the first bite at the apple, so to speak, uh, to become the guardian for your children. And that's vitally important. Now, Another thing to keep in mind is whether you're talking about guardians or executors or trustees or any of these things, your attorney is always going to ask you for your primary choices, but also alternates. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to go to our website, which is www.shutlawfirm.com. That's S-H-U-T-T. I'm Isaac Shutt. I'm a wills, trusts, and probate lawyer headquartered in Richardson, Texas.